In this video, we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule with trigonometry. So again, the first thing we always try with a limit is plugging in. So we're plugging in a zero. If we plug in a zero on the bottom, we obviously get zero. If we plug in a zero on the top, sine of zero is zero. So L'Hopital applies. Derivative of the top, derivative of sine is, of course, cosine x. Derivative of x is 1. Now, if we plug in, we get cosine of 0 over 1, which is 1 over 1, which is just 1. In example 2, plug in a 0, we get 0. Plug in a 0, we get 0. 0 over 0, so l'hopital. Uh, this time, the derivative of the bottom is 2. Derivative of the top is a chain rule. That would be derivative of sine is cosine. Don't change the inside function. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Now when we plug in, we get 3 times cosine of 0 over 2, or 3 halves. Now if we look at both of these examples, we might be able to develop a shortcut. Notice that the answer to this was 1 over 1, which was 1. The answer to our second example was 3 over 2. Well, if we look very carefully, there's our 3 over 2. And over here, we have an implied 1 as our coefficients there. So there is a shortcut for L'Hopital's rule with limits with trig. In example 3, again, Plug in, we get 0 over 0. Let's do L'Hopital. We get 2 on the bottom. On the top, we have 4 cosine 3x times 3. Plug in our 0. We end up with 4 times 1 times 3 over 2, which is 12 over 2, which gives us 6. But if we look very carefully, there's our 4 times 3 over 2, which gives us 6. In example 4, let's see if we can't find that shortcut. So on the top, we have 3 times 2 is 6. On the bottom, we have 4 times 5, which is 20, reduces to 3 tenths. In example 5, notice uh, it's no longer sine, it's tangent. Let's see if this rule applies to tangent. Bottom is 0. Top is 0. 0 over 0, l'hopital. Derivative of the bottom is 3. Derivative of tangent is secant squared. Don't change the inside times the derivative of the inside. Well, now we're plugging in a 0. Well, remember, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And when you pl uh, flip cosine upside down, or flip 1 upside down, you still get 1. So this is really 7 times 1 squared over 3, which is 7 thirds. So notice, with tangent, the same rule still applies. So looking over here now, we've got a mix of tangents and sines. We've got our short top, shortcut on top, which is 12. And then on the bottom, 6 would give us an answer of 2. So we love L'Hopital with our shortcut.